Hello and welcome to Black Ops NZ Production, uh, I'm Max and today I'm going to be bringing you a guide on how to do some basic colour correction. Now I would have used a Call of Duty clip but for some reason all my Call of Duty clips at the moment are lagging on my computer and I have no idea why. Um, yeah so I'm just going to show you do basic colour correction and stuff to make the clip look a bit nicer and so on and so on so yeah. Uh, first steps first is to go to composition, composition settings. Now, this footage is already 1280 by 720, but if it doesn't, try setting it for that, which is the YouTube standard high definition. Um, is there anything else in here? Frames per second, yeah, set your frames per second. See, mine's um, 29.97 up here in the project. So, I need to set this for 29.97 here as well. Uh, first things first is I'm just going to delete this because it's, I've already done some test trialing on this one. So first things first is you click on the clip effects magic bulletin look ma magic bullet looks sorry and then looks edit. You have your clip here. Now the first thing I like to add first is I usually go to post I think and you add curves. Now with curves what you want to do is make a wavy line like this because it just adds a bit of depth to it, so as you can see it makes the shadows a bit darker and the highlights a bit lighter. With this one, usually I'd add a bit more, like I'd drag this up like up here and then I would drop this down like down here. But since this clip doesn't really need it because it's underground, I can just put a little bit on and it will just add a little bit of a nice look. Um, and maybe even a bit too dark, but oh well. And other things you can also do with this is under matte, matty or whatever matte I, there's a whole heap of like um, uh, presets that you can use. So you can use this like a nice warm, like that, and I usually would drag it back a bit and you have like a nice um, lit up area, I'll show you what this looks like. So as you can see it brings out the, like, the proper tones and colours of what it actually would look like. Um, in some cases you might not want this orangey color, so you could drag it around and make it a bit bluey. You, you know, if you want, I've seen people in COD they usually do like really blue settings in the background like that. So you'd have it like that. Um, personally, I like the warm colors because I don't know, it just looks nicer. Uh, other things you can do, I haven't really messed around with a lot of these settings, but um, I've seen people use diffusions. Which basically makes everything sort of glowy and light. I'm not a big fan of that one, but I, I prefer doing a um, a different a different method of doing it, which gives you a better uh, effect at the end. Another thing you can do is a soft uh, edge softness, which will add a bit of fuzz around the edges. As you can see, and you can sort of drag this out and make it less fuzzy or more fuzzy or whatever. So okay, and you can see there's a little bit of fuzz around the edges. Um. What else is there in this? I think that's pretty much it for looks. I mean, there's a lot of other stuff you can mess around with. I haven't really done much with it. And I, like, I can delete it like that. Um, there's other ones like this blue filter as well. See, that'll give you that nice blue look that people like sometimes. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to remove this and show you some other methods of making your clip look a bit nicer. Oops, didn't click OK, so just delete, delete, delete. OK. So, some other things you might want to do first is effects. Oh, maybe Control alt y for adjustment layer, or uh, Layer, New, and Adjustment Layer. It does the same thing. Um, and on this adjustment layer, you can call this Color Correction, or just CC. And what I'm going to do to this layer is, um, I might add some curves or something, I don't know. Uh, where's my color correction? I'm blind today. Blur and sharpen. So we can add some sharpen, which I would do. So this is a very fuzzy clip, so adding a little bit of sharpen. Not too much, like that is stupid, but you could add like... Uh, I'd put, probably put about a 10 sharpen on there. Just sharpen this clip up a little bit. Look at that. Um, another method that I've seen is do another control at Y and call this fast blur. Like this, so fast blur. Uh, effect. Blur and sharpen. And add a fast blur. Where's the fast blur? I'm blind. Sorry if I'm going a bit fast, but I'm trying to fit this in nice and quickly. Um, if you have any problems, just stop and rewatch the video over and over again in the certain spots wherever you want it. And in the fast blur, you want to 
click I'll show you what happens if you if you don't click repeat edge pixels I'll just do extreme you're gonna have these black bits around the edges which in normality when it's not this extreme it looks like that and you get these stupid things but if you click this <coughs> sorry excuse the cold <coughs> it gets rid of the black um, edges so I want to drag this up to maybe like 20 and that gives you everything like a nice fuzz maybe around 20 everything a nice fuzz which sort of diffuses the edges and stuff but you can't really make out anything in that picture so what you do is um, click over here and under mode go to click on it from switch from normal to overlay now if that isn't there I think you hit F4 and if you know to bring it there and take it away like that see? and then I'll bring it back and overlay and this will diffuse it so this is what I was talking about instead of doing the looks diffuse you can do this and it just gives everything a nice soft edge so the clip is really grainy before and bad quality this sort of helps fix that problem makes it look a little bit nicer um, uh, let's jam it a bit here as you can see it just, it just looks a bit nicer um, other things you can do is add masks around objects that you want to be um, like fuzzed up and stuff oh, should we? I'll do an example so if I just want the fast blur but not to be on the character there I would just get a mask I'm just going to do this really, oops, wrong one controls the internet that why is it doing that, I want pen tool there we go I didn't want it on lane there, like that and it would mask around him like that but I would usually, I'd take my time and go carefully around him um, but as you can see the mask, you can see the difference of the colour correction and stuff there of what it looks like, how much nicer it looks with it so that's just with the um, diffusion um, but I want the diffusion on the outside so I can see his face properly so what you do is you drop down the fast blur masks and then you click inverted and now the mask is on the outside now if I click away from this you can see there's a massive line around there so that looks absolutely ridiculous so you can keep dropping down the mask and then you can go to feather and just drag that way out like that now it sort of comes into him like that and looks really nice and there's no big black line running around the edges of the obvious mask. You see a little bit of it but it's not too bad. <coughs> um, I usually put this about 250, that's probably too bit too much, there you go. So, yeah, is there anything else? You can also do the same things with sharpens, you can just put, I think you may have leave inverted on put a mask around it and then put, drop sharpen into it and it'll just sharpen in this bit here um, I think that's pretty much all for color correction you just need to keep it looking nice looking sharp don't overdo it don't overkill the sh like if you just drop too many effects in and just completely butcher the clip you know it's not going to be a very nice look at um, I would suggest usually what I do with the diffuse that I've done is add the nice warm look over the top of it like this but like that, see it looks absolutely perfect now, so that's good enough to use for a film. But, um, yeah, I wouldn't overkill it, I've seen some people just blurring everything out to ridiculous amounts. Like, if you want to add a bit of depth, so that background things are fuzzy, you can add the fast blur in a bit stronger, and a bit whatever, whatever you want. It all looks nice. Um, yeah, so I think that's it for this guide. Um, leave a comment in the description of what guides like what other guides you want I'll be bringing cinema 4d guides when I understand the program more it may take a few weeks just to get the basics down so that I can give some basic guides but at the moment I'm just using other people's guides um, I've been getting a lot of questions asking me about the editing and uh, am I editing f you know for free for people still the question that is yes I am but it's good quality footage only um, I'll edit anything, I don't really care what it is, but it can be real life stuff, it can be gaming, but it needs to be good quality. I don't take Dazzle or any of these other stupid little things because, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, excuse me, um, they're no fun to edit and they're not hard, but just, you can't do a lot, like, a heck of a lot with them. So yeah, a good camera or a good recording device would be good. Um, AVI demo footage from COD. 
PC that's amazing. I'd love some of that footage. Uh, my computer's a bit too slow to be able to do 200 frames per second. So I'm uh, trying to get some from other people. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, subscribe, rate, and comment. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, see you guys next time. Peace.